Well, here we go, friends. DJI Mini 3 in the fog. And as you can see, we're in the fog now, and we're going to find our landing pad, and then we're going to be in the fog again, I think. So, we finally found our landing pad. Let's see if we can stay out of that fog now. Get this thing started one way or another. I've been having some problems with uh, the liftoff on this thing. Uh, pushing the button uh, to get it to record is getting to be a little bit of a hassle on this thing. I'm not sure what's going on, but I think I got it started now. And we're up. As you can see, it was a rainy morning. Rained a little bit uh, before I got there. And we're going to get up there and you can see it's an overcast day we're flying due south mini 3 pro 4k no ND filters looks good right now but uh, I've got a feeling we're gonna run into some fog here it was up oh, here we come already so I thought I'd take it out for a little flight, and it looked a lot better out than it was. So <laughs> As you can see, we're flying through some foggy conditions. It gets better for a while, then it gets worse. Then <laughs> it gets better, then it gets worse. I've actually got to tilt the camera down to the ground so I can see exactly where I'm going. When I put the camera up too much, uh, geez, everything just kind of disappears. So, keeping focused on the ground the best I can. Beautiful morning. It was probably about 9.30 in the morning, somewhere around there, maybe a little earlier. And like I said, we had just got done with the rain and uh, the sun was coming out, but uh, the fog was in the air for sure, so... It cleared up later that morning. I've got another uh, Mini 3 flight right after this one that I'll post. This is just a short one because, like I said, the fog was kind of hard to fly in. So it doesn't do much for picture quality either. So it is what it is. We got uh, Thelma Lou up in the air for a little while. There's the walking trail down there and the railroad tracks. It'd be cool if those were clouds and you could legally fly high enough to be in them. But can't do that, so we'll have to suck it up and get some fog in our lens. Now she's clearing up. Nope. Spoke too soon. <laughs> it was a fun flight, though. Uh, not much of a wind, and that's probably why the fog laid in the way it did. Uh, wasn't bad on the ground. Uh, in fact, it was clear on the ground, no fog at all. It didn't get down that low. Even driving, there was no fog. But uh, just up a couple hundred feet, boy, she started to thicken up. So we're headed back now. We're going to follow this walking trail and these railroad tracks to find our way back in this stuff. Here we get up here a little ways. We'll probably RTH and make sure we have our bearings right. Ooh, as you can see, it doesn't look like it's getting much better. <laughs> but we're going to stick on this course right here. I'm pretty sure I've Got her almost in sight. You get to looking at her and then the fog comes back in. And it was kind of fun flying in the fog. Don't do it that often. Fly in the rain quite a bit. I get caught in the rain more than usual, more than most people do, but uh get caught in the fog very much so kind of a unique flying experience let's see where am I at okay there's a road there there's a railroad track there so got my bearings and 
and we'll fly up this way and hopefully this fog will lift up a little bit. Now you ask why I didn't fly a little bit lower below the fog because uh, there are just trees within oh 50 60 yards of me a wall of trees so have to have enough altitude to clear those trees not to lose signal. So that's why I am up in the fog instead of right underneath it. Best explanation I can think of. So anyway, this is going to be a short flight. We're going to flip her around here. Head back this way. Point that camera down get our landmarks again. There we are. I don't know. Look, I'm almost out of the fog. Nope. <laughs> as soon as I get over these trees here, I can lose a little altitude and that will bring Thelma Lou out of the fog. You don't much like flying blind, that's for sure. Uh, we know where we're at now, and we're just going to bring her up this way, and then we're going to hang a Roscoe and bring her right back to me. So we're headed due west now, and we are not that far from launch point now. There, I'm going to turn around a little bit this way. Now, let's see. Do I want to come back yet? Maybe not quite yet. You raise the camera up. We're going to fly up this way, and actually, we're going to deviate a little bit. Huh. We are actually, our takeoff point is just to the right. So, we're going to... Uh, Northeast a little bit, we're flying over a pond that has turned over on itself and got quite nasty with algae. Okay, now we're getting up almost even. Ah, oh, look at that. Somebody turned on the lights. Whoop, whoop, I may have spoke too soon. No, it looks like it's going to be a clear flight the rest of the time. That's great. Now you can see some colors. We gained uh, a little bit of ground altitude there and uh, got out of that valley a little bit and the fog cleared up quite a bit. You can see a little bit still there, but it cleared up quite a bit. So I'm happy with that. Now we're flying north northeast. And there's the field I wanted to fly over and check the soybeans out. So we're going to turn right here, I believe. Yeah, as you can see, the edge of the beans not doing too good. We got a little bit of rain down there, but uh, not a whole lot to speak of. So they could use quite a bit more rain to get these uh, late beans going good and strong. Okay. Coming back home now. This boogie on down here, I see where I'm standing right now. And here we come. Look at that, there's the fog ceiling, as you can see where I'm at now. I'm going to start losing some altitude here, get out of this fog, since I'm bringing her back in. Come on. She'd be hanging a Leroy here. There we are. Now we're losing altitude, get underneath this fog. There we go, coming through it right now. Almost all the way out of it. 
There we go. So it was a short, interesting flight. Uh, didn't think it was going to be that foggy, and like I said, I had to had to keep at that altitude any lower than that. And you can see the trees that surround this field, and uh, you just can't get any distance at all. Uh, signal break up with the trees that close to you. So anyway, we're going to bring her here, bring her back. See if she can find the landing pad. Thelma Lou flew real good as usual. She likes flying in the wind. Disregard that guy standing in the field. He is just there looking at how fast the grass is growing. <laughs> so we'll bring her down. Bring her back around. She likes to back into things. So, there she goes. As you can see, the uh, sky was still overcast. It looked like it was going to rain some more, but it did not. Well, that's a problem bringing it backwards or forwards when you have obstacle avoidance on, and I forgot to turn it off. Uh, Got to be back on the side of the landing pad a ways away to get off that obstacle avoidance. And sometimes you'll not quite get her squared up and she'll land a little bit off. But everybody stay safe out there. Thanks for uh, the view and uh, I appreciate it. Uh, get a chance. I've got a lot of other videos on the channel on the playlist Mini 3, Mini 2, and a bunch of motorcycle videos too, motorcycle vlogs. Enjoy yourself. Stay safe. Treat others well the way you want to be treated. Thanks for everything.